Alrighty everybody, welcome back, Pan here again, and today we're going to work on something that was requested of me. We're going to see to how we're going to port some weapon models into Series Editor 3.5, but again, this also works in Series Editor 3. I'm going to do this on the fly yet again, so if I stutter and crap, get used to it. So what we're going to do is we're going to start off with the weapon we want to edit. I'm going to start with the assault rifle, because that's probably one of the, probably the best to learn, because there's so much you can do with it. So let's just go to Assault Rifle FP, that's the first person view of the model. And as you can see, I have a modded one myself, but you know, you can change it out yourself, it's pretty easy. So what we're going to do, so you may be really asking yourself why are we starting out here in Series Editor 3.5 instead of Blender, there's an easy answer for that. In Model Editor go to children holster and we'll just click on bullets and click target bone target bone gives us an example of the vertex groups for the weapons so we have one for body one for the magazine of the actual weapon the reload so what gets pulled back as he's reloading the weapons where the shells are ejected and the trigger of the gun now the rest of these are for the hands, I have custom hands. You might not see them because you're using the original Sam hands, but if you see mine, just try to ignore the vertex groups and move on. So anyway, what we've got here is the blender. I've already imported my own model, it's a blaster rifle from uh, Star Wars. So this will be a bit of fun. As you can see, it doesn't have a magazine clip in it, so what we're going to have to do is going to have to make one in Series Editor 3.5 for it to be used. But Apart from that, not a problem. It also does have a trigger because it's a really low poly model, but you know, I don't think you really need me to tell you how to do it all. So, to start off, what we're gonna do is gonna check what we want to start with. So, body, magazine, reload, shell ejected, trigger. So, if I'm gonna start with body, we'll start with the parts we probably don't need, and then we'll move down the list. Whoops. So the body, if you haven't watched my previous tutorials on how to use Blender with this, I'd recommend you go watch that now, just so you know what buttons I'm pressing. So we'll go into edit mode, and we'll just start assigning some vertex groups. Just like we're creating a character, this one's as simple as just naming one, so body, and selecting the parts that are the body. So in this case, this would be, assigning it, and then clicking H to hide. Tapping hate, I should say. And yeah, this counts. This probably doesn't count. So what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to hide this. I'm going to make that my magazine. Yeah, I'll make that my magazine. That works. See, doing it on the fly, nothing wrong with that. So, sign that and hide it. And we'll sort that out later. Alrighty, so what else we got? So, bit this is all basically the body, but we'll make these two here the shell eject. Just need to double check how you write that shell underscore eject. So, we have the body assigned. If you have a trigger here, just make sure you assign trigger in the vertex groups. And if you have a magazine, make sure you assign it to a vertex group just like I did. Now, shell eject on the model is usually around this area here, or somewhere around here in the model, depending on how you size it. So just make sure you do that right. Now, not all models have it, so this one's a very simple model. I probably should have chosen something more appropriate, but what the hell ever. You'll see you have reload. Now on this particular model here, this, these polygons, whoops, yeah, 
uh, my reload. So he pulls this back whenever he plays the reload function. Well, he would if I actually bothered to set it up. <laughs> but anyway, if you are if you don't have a magazine for your um, models, it's fine. Just uh, Crow Team has one for their own assault rifle. You can just borrow that one, like I have done here for this assault rifle in particular. So, no, well, I haven't been borrowed it, but you know what I mean. Anyway, now that that's done, I just want to select the magazine and crudely put it where I want it to be. Double setting R to rotate. As I usually say before I do this sort of thing, I do my works in Blender in a very, very primitive way. I don't know what's wrong, but bite me. And that'll work for now, just lower it a bit. Alright, so there we have the assault rifle, just making it look nice, because in general, the right side doesn't need to look as good as the left side, so if you make it look nice and organized, the left side doesn't look as bad. So what we're going to do is going to make sure we're in object mode and export that thing. Now, the weapons folder is under weapons, so go to models, weapons, and make an assault rifle. If you don't have these, you can make them yourself, or just open up the assault rifle model and save it, and it'll make the folder automatically. So now we're done in Blender for now. Let me just go here. That should probably... Now, you don't have to do this if you're not using custom hands, but if you are using custom hands like I am, you'll need to remove the arms until you're done using this. So just wipe out all the meshes if you're, not, if you're using custom hands and we'll start from scratch. Alright, so new C mesh. Import. Need some rock candy. No, oh, recording's making it go slow. If it's all the way out there, just press Ctrl and A to return it to where it belongs. Much like in creating a character, I click skeletons to see where the gun belongs. And just hold Ctrl and use little jiggly bits there to align it properly. So just make sure you're aligned it up. Keep it straight. If you can't make fine adjustments, press A and it should help you make those adjustments that you need to do. Alright, so there we are. It's all in. Sort of. It's not big enough. Because as you can see, that's where the reload is. And my magazine's all the way back here. So what we're going to do... I'm going to go into model editor. Mesh editor, I mean. Sorry, mate. Make it easy for myself. I'm going to apply a texture to it right now. Looks like crap, whatever, don't care. Alrighty. So there we have that. So we obviously don't have hands, so if you're following me and you're using custom hands, just go here, create a new mesh. New mesh. Sorry, not new C mesh, go browse. Arms. Just click the arms being left to bring the hands back. Right back.